I am wearing my farmer's hat. <laughs> I got this hat from Hobby Lobby, believe it or not. Mom. It was only like $12. It was only like $6, actually. No, it was like $12. And online, yeah. I couldn't find them less than like 25 or 50 sometimes. It's ridiculous. So today, we are headed down for part of our dinner tonight. Garden. We are going to the garden. We found some arugula that... What, Orin? What do you need to say? Peas! Peas, no, okay. We found arugula um, that overwintered. We didn't plant it this spring. It's from last fall. So, and our kale is doing pretty good. I'll show you all of this once we come down here. So here we have some cabbage, red cabbage that overwintered. Um, and then down here are carrots. Overwintered means that like, I had covered them with this cloth and um, to be honest, halfway through winter, I uncovered them and they survived. They're really cold hardy crops. Um, let's see, so down here, we got a few more carrots in this bed. <clears throat> this is a kale plant that overwintered. Kale is so hardy. You can see I trimmed off all the dead leaves, but um, all these baby leaves are coming off. So we're gonna try to make a baby kale salad tomorrow. Turnips are over there, more carrots. We eat a lot of carrots, so we planted a lot of carrots last fall. Um, here's the arugula we're gonna pick for tonight's dinner. Right here, it's actually, that's crazy. It already is trying to go to seed. Here's the pigs. They're getting bigger. Okay, so here in our orchard, we have, <laughs> we actually moved our, our uh, growing pigs out here. We're gonna keep a couple of these for, um, I know. We're oh, look at that fox there. they are. We're gonna keep one or two of the females for breeding, but we're gonna grow the rest out for eating. They're really good. Cuny cunies are really good for lard. We use a lot of lard. Um, this fence is shorting out. I need to get the box off this fence. Anyways, here's our strawberry patch. You can see that little strawberry plant right there. Orin was down here weeding a little bit yesterday. These are elderberry plants. Like We're actually gonna make cuttings off of this elderberry. There's this one and this one. These little, since it's starting to leaf out, we can make cuttings off of them, make more plants. And here was a whole bunch of flowers, so we'll probably replant flowers in here. But anyways, we're down here today to weed, get arugula, check on the pigs. Look what they've already done. This is incredible. This is less than a full day, which is good. I want them to do this because I want to convert this orchard to a garden that's um, filled with plants everywhere and walkways and just will be a beautiful place to be in the summer. Okay, so tonight's 30 minute meal is chicken legs. I'm just gonna put salt and pepper on, um, on the chicken legs. And then I'll bake them at 375 for probably 40 minutes, maybe a little longer to the stone will take a little while to get heated. Um, and then, while this bakes, I am going to cut up my broccoli. So while dinner cooks, I'm gonna show you what I got from Thrive Market um, and tell you what I'm using what ingredient for. Okay, first up we have our gelatin, which I used to get from Amazon, but I'm trying to support Thrive Market instead more. Uh, we have our dates, which we go through a lot of in our date peanut butter balls. Uh, 
we just keep those in the Mommy. freezer and pull them out whenever we want a snack. This time I got pumpkin. Usually I do not buy canned goods, but my one son's birthday is coming up and his birthday wish is pumpkin pie. So I bought some pumpkin for pumpkin pie. More dates. <laughs> I'm gonna try their honey this time. It's supposed to be raw, organic, unfiltered honey. We go through a lot of honey with our yogurt. And with Easter coming up, I'll be making a cheesecake with honey um, and some other treats. So I need to just stock up on honey. We got a few jars of the peanut butter for our date balls, of course. And the kids sometimes put peanut butter in their uh, yogurt to beef up a lunch if it's a, a low lunch. Um, and olives, remember these olives only have citric acid in them, right? Let me double check. And sea salt, whereas a lot of olives have some really serious preservatives in them. So we can eat these on the gas diet. Uh, coconut oil, because we make our lemon drops with coconut oil. Sometimes I bake with it, but I usually just use butter. All right, olives. And Castile soap. This is, um, you can just mix, dilute this with water and all of our soap dispensers in our bathrooms and kitchens are mixed with this diluted soap. And it just makes everything easier and there's no soap bars getting lost and whatever else. Um, and this is more pumpkin. So the last 10 minutes, I'm gonna actually flip these over and then um, put them on 425 just to get them a little bit crispier uh, skin. Once again, I got these from Butcher Box, like I said in the last video. Um, I didn't really pick chicken legs. They just give you a box of chicken and beef or pork and beef, whatever you decide. Um, so lucky for us, we got chicken legs. And then, yep, I'm gonna salt and pepper this side. And here's the broccoli cooked. There's some leftover broccoli in here. That's why it's two different colors. And we'll be ready to eat. So I am gonna surprise everybody tonight. We're supposed to um, go to confession and we like to have a treat after confession. And um, I'm gonna make some orange ice cream with, so we have honey, our honey we just got oranges. I'm going to zest and juice these and I'm going to put egg yolks and then our homemade yogurt in it. And then I'll put it in the fridge or probably in the freezer to get it cold and then I'll churn it when we come home. Uh, so I was going to tell you the reason I'm not adding the egg whites, which you could add the whole egg to this ice cream, um, is because I'm really sensitive to egg whites. They can be very detoxifying. Um, egg yolks can as well, but I have three to four egg yolks every day already in my smoothie, so I know I can handle them. Um, I'm sure most of the people in our family can handle the egg whites, but I'm not sure if Gabrielle and I could. So uh, we are just gonna stick with egg yolks and that will make the ice cream really creamy and delicious. So honey. Well, that's really stuck on there. That's some intense honey. There it goes. All right, now it's time for the yogurt. I've been letting this drain a long time today, so it's a little thicker of a yogurt. I know it looks like cottage cheese now, but it'll be good. You could add vanilla to this if you wanted. Um, I'm going to stay away from vanilla because I don't know how I will do with it because it's made. My vanilla is vanilla beans soaked in vodka. And with my liver being sensitive, I'm just going to stay away from that for right now.
How's the surprise? Good. What's it taste like? Orange sherbet. Tastes like orange sherbet. You like it, Mary? Yeah. 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 Mom, get to like you again. Mm. Tastes like ice cream? It's like ice cream. Is it? Yeah, I could have turned it, but I didn't feel like making more dishes. So we just froze it for two hours. I think it was about two. You made it today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right before dinner. Oh. Hmm.